What's up, Mopar fam? Hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today, we're actually going to be working on my diesel truck. And we're going to be putting in a block heater. I have a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 5.9 Cummins 24 valve. And my, this particular truck did not come with a block heater. Majority of them do. This one does not have a block heater. So we're going to install one. I picked up this kit off of Amazon. It was about 70 bucks, about $69 and some change, I believe. I'll put the link in the description. But we're about to tackle putting this block heater in. So I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta do. Pretty straightforward, not too bad. So first thing we're gonna do is get the air box out and go from there. So let me uh, flip the camera around and show you what we're gonna do real quick. All right, so block heater is basically two pieces. This threads into the block, and then you have the cord right here, and this kit comes with both pieces that you're going to need, the block, the actual heater element, and the cord. And then, put that up there for a minute, and we're going to be installing this down here close to the oil filter on the right side of the engine, so we need to get this air box out of the way, so we're going to remove the air box assembly completely we're just going to disconnect it here off the front of the turbo unplug the sensor here and completely move this box out of the way so we have room to work so i'm gonna grab some tools and get this air box out of the way and we'll go from there all right guys so what we did here to get this factory air box off if you're still running a factory air box I already have it out there's a 10 millimeter nut here to take that off and then down here, the elbow that goes onto the turbo, you have a, a, a band clamp right here. You can use a flathead screwdriver or I'm using a 9 30 seconds uh, nut runner. And just loosen this clamp up enough so you can get the tube off of the turbo. And that's pretty much it there. So I'm going to finish taking this thing off so we can remove this whole thing. And then you have your sensor connector that plugs right here pretty straightforward just unplug that and lay it to the side so continue on all right guys so we have the air box assembly out of the truck land out here on the ground and I'm gonna show you where the location is to put the block heater element see if I can get my phone down here and it is right there so if your truck does not have a factory block heater installed this plug right here this is a half inch you can use like a the head of a half inch ratchet or an extension and you're gonna pull out this plug right here and that is where you will insert the block heater I've already wrapped this with thread tape so we don't get a leak and uh that's it so next step is removing this plug and again here is the oil filter to give you an idea of where it is and this is the turbo oil turbo oil feed line here so right next to the oil filter kind of behind it in between where the turbo is and the oil filter that plug right there so we're going to get this plug out. I'm going to try to do this real quick um, where I don't lose too much coolant. But we're going to try to pop this plug out and then jam that uh, heater element in as quick as possible. Try to minimize any leaks or fluid loss. So here we go. Alright, so this is going to be, this is how, this is the tool I'm going to use to get this plug out with, guys. It's just a half inch ratchet. This does have a swivel head. Not needed any ratchet will work and then just a half inch drive extension and try to get this thing down here where it goes all right so there you go i got the ratchet on there right in the plug and that's pretty much it so we're going to bust this loose and take it out and then put the heater element in as quick as possible and uh pretty much all there is to it Alright guys, that wasn't too bad. So I have the 
heater element installed. I just have to tighten it up. And we were able to remove the plug very easily and did not lose hardly any fluid. Very minimal. I'd say I, let, I lost probably maybe four or five ounces of fluid. Um, pulled the plug off and then jammed that element in there as quick as I could. Um, so we won't have to add very much coolant back hardly at all. Now to tighten this up, this particular kit, the size or the heater element nut is an inch and an eighth. And that'll fit over the element. And then we'll get our ratchet and we will tighten that guy up. And pretty much nothing to it. So I'm going to get this thing torqued down real quick. And then we'll start routing the electrical cord. All right, guys. So we have our block heater element torqued down. It's tightened down real nice and tight. And now it's time to put a cord on. No particular way this has to go besides make sure you line up the two pins and plug it in. Make sure it seats all the way down. And then this little nut collar right here, the silver piece, will slide over and tighten down onto the heater element so that this plug does not come unplugged. And then it's just a matter of routing the cord to your preference. Keep in mind, keep it away from the belt, the fan area, whatnot, so it doesn't get tangled up or anything. Um, I'm just going to probably route mine along the intercooler piping here, possibly. And then we'll probably run it out um, maybe up here around the front tow hook or frame area somewhere that we can access it fairly easy and then run some zip ties around it call it a day so we're gonna get this thing plugged in real quick all right we have our electrical cord plugged in to the heater element we're just gonna slide this metal collar up and then this is gonna thread onto the heater element so the cord does not come unplugged and that'll be pretty much it for that part. And then we're going to route the cord out. And that'll be the easiest part of this whole situation. So stay tuned. Let me get this thing finished tightened up. All right, guys. So we pretty much got it buttoned up. We got our cord plugged in. And then I ended up putting a zip tie right here on this harness to hold the cord there by the oil filter. And then what I did is I wrapped a bunch of the access around the intercooler tube and zip tied it just to keep it from getting into the belt area. And then I routed it over here, through here next to the radiator, and then used my front tow hook. I dropped it through this side of the tow hook to where I can just reach into the lower bumper and access the plug plug it in very easily and then when i'm not using it i can just drop it back there and you don't really see the plug and it doesn't hang down below the bumper and look like an eyesore but if you know it's there you reach in and get to it very easily so that's it very simple job took me about a good 15 20 minutes to do nothing to it so hell yeah guys, this block heat, the block heater is definitely going to help a lot on the cold mornings. Uh, won't have to sit here and wait for the truck to warm up quite as long to get heat and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't have one, very easy to do. Anybody can do this. If you can change your own oil, you'll be able to do this. Very simple. Uh, link to this particular heater kit is in the description. Again, I got it from Amazon. It was about 60 bucks and had very good reviews. So... Till the next time, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, hit the like button. Send me a message. Tell me what you think. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.